guys, here we are, MMA UK News, Stoomboy as always, MMA UK BJJ show. So uh, before we go into the interview then, just a quick word on our sponsors. So Simplify Debt, uh, Simplify Debt are a company that help people across the UK uh, get out of debt uh, by giving them kind of confidential, free and friendly advice. So anybody that is uh, looking for any help or any kind of advice at all, they definitely have yep. simplified debt. Uh, we'll put their number and their website across the bottom of the screen. So feel free to hit these guys up anytime. Uh, now, my next guest, um, uh, we were going to be talking about grapple wars, but unfortunately, opponent had to pull out. Uh, so obviously, wish his opponent well. So Jordan Kirk, as I said, all the best. Um, as we hope all is well. And we'll see you on the mat soon. So Ryan Graham. So Ryan Graham, the Gloucester grappler. Um, he is Guerrilla Grappling Academy. So Ryan's awesome, man. Ryan's one of the guys, obviously, I've, I've kind of been watching for a while. Love watching him. He comes with a, a really, really good style, really aggressive style, uh, and puts everything into every single match he goes into. So there's definitely no stepping back from Ryan. So he's going to come at you. As in, if you, if you are standing in front of Ryan Graham in a matchup, then it's going to be a horrible, horrible, whatever the many minutes it is, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If it's a 10 minute match, man, you're in for a horrible, horrible 10 minutes. So, um, so yeah, we're going to talk about Ryan, with Ryan. Obviously, he's got the Gorilla Grappling Academy doing some great things in just a short period of time as well. So, um, and we're going to hear and see a lot more from the Gorilla Grappling Academy over the, the coming months and years. So, so Ryan, listen, always a pleasure, brother, chatting with you. Likewise, likewise, mate. Always good to sit down and have a chat with you, my man. Always good. Yeah. Always. Glad how have you be been back anyway? Back. Yeah, how have you been anyway? I mean, obviously, a lot of changes since the last time me and you spoke. Oh, massively, mate. It's, yeah, what, what changes could happen have happened. Uh, as in, yeah, it's been great, like I said. As mentioned, like I said, gone off and gone my own way, if you like. Opened up obviously our own, own little place, and like I said, it's the team every week, week on week. There's new people coming in, whether it's adults, juniors. Like I said, going out and competing, getting a staff out there. Yeah, like I said, I've been going well seven months, just uh, just over seven months now. And like I said, as as a small team at the moment, we've like I said accomplished a lot in my eyes in terms of guys not competing to competing, to taking gold here, there, and everywhere, and whatnot, and trying to become more sub orient submission only orientated now. So yeah, it's, yeah. Like I said, a lot, a lot of changes have happened, and like I said, the right people around me I've got is possibilities are endless. If I'm honest with you, mate. So yeah, yeah happy days. You know, it's just taking as it comes, one step at a time. That's the thing. I mean, you. I mean, obviously, speaking to you um, many times before. I mean, that was the one thing you, you. You're a competitive guy. You want to go out there and compete as much as possible. Um, I know you did a lot of kind of competitions, a lot of tournament styles, and um, and obviously the submission only stuff as well. I know you absolutely love the submission only. So, so you always had big plans for yourself, and not just for you, but for an academy and stuff like that as well. So, you always had these big goals in mind. Always, it's, yeah. Like I said, you hit the nail on the head there. Like I said, it's, I'll compete in any rule set. Do you know what I mean? I'll make, like I said, I'm familiar with pretty much every rule set out there within reason, if you like, from ADCC to IPJJF. But it's, I don't like to stick to one one style. In terms of, like I said, I don't like winning by points. Nobody does. But at the same time, the goal is always a submission. And yeah, yeah it's like I said, there's a lot going on. And like I said, it's yeah, I, I just I just speak to with how well it's taken off. And like I said, support that I've had and you've still got and continuing moving forward is. Yeah, competition-wise, the goal's always been Polaris, always has been, always will be, until, like I said, I get on there, which is, like I said, the biggest what's the, the biggest thing I've, I've had planned, and, like I said, still pushing for it, like I said, going out, comp driving all over, competing here, there, and everywhere. Until I get on there, I, in all fairness, there's no signs of slowing down at the moment. Like I said, it's just now, like I said, I took a few tough, tough defeats on, obviously, Grapple Fest, a few big shows. Again, I'm trying to work my way back up again. And, you know, put, put on a show every time and, like I said, going out there, doing what you got to do and trying to enjoy it at the same time, you know, so, yeah, 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 yeah. so, yeah. I mean, you, I mean, you've been on some big shows, obviously, we've got the Raw, we've got the Grapple Fest um, already, so Polaris is definitely going to be on the pipeline at some point, so, um, because, you, I mean, you, you, one thing about you, I mean, even though you, you, 
you might lose, but you you go away and you you work on everything. Yeah, it's, it, it, exactly that. You know, it's like I said, gra- uh, grapple fest again. I was given the opportunity by obviously the grapple fest guys and Chris and Steve. And like I said, that I, in all fairness, I'll be totally honest, I was a bit starstruck by that. Obviously, actually being on there, being around the world class people that were there, a couple of people that I idolise, and, and like I said, some of my favourite guys within the elite competitors. I, like I said, being sat in the same room as them, talking to them. Yeah, I was a bit starstruck by that. So, I, in all fairness, like I said, all credit to Lewis at the time, come out, fire in, done what we had to do, made a few mistakes and whatnot. And same again with Raw. It's still, I'm not going to sit here and Sound like, excuse my language, sound like a bitch. But yeah. to me, the result was mine. However, for, for dis- discretions with the referees and whatnot, it is what it is. Like I said, head head down, get straight back to the gym. Right, this is why I went wrong. I can't allow that to happen again. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's I, I, can't, I don't like to be defined by one or two things. You know, it's I'm the sort of person that, like I said, if, if I get beat, fair play to the opposite man. He's back to me on the day at the time. At the same time, I will be coming back bigger and better than before. And, like I said, obviously, I know I've been on those two big shows. This Polaris is the one. That's the one I've always wanted. I hope they're watching. Yeah. I'm not going to lie, sir. I hope they're watching. And like I said, yeah, that's always and always will be the goal until I achieve that. And then maybe a case you sit down with the team and set bigger goals and go from there. Yeah. So yeah. I said, Paul, Paul and this is definitely achievable. I said, for you, it's definitely achievable. Um, and and something obviously if that comes along, I'll be I'll be over the moon for you because I know how hard you work, especially over the last. I mean, not just over the last year, but um, obviously previous years as well. But I mean, certainly over the last year with all the changes that have happened, obviously ch- setting up Gorilla Grappling Academy, got your brown belt in December, um, and still, still able to go out there and do your thing. Um, it, so that's yeah. a huge, huge year. Like I said, the past couple of years, well, yeah, especially from last year, like I said, when I got the shot on Grapple Fest, they obviously got the shot offered to me in the December the year before, and then obviously the yeah. following February is there. And yeah, like I said, last year was, oh, like I said, result was not the best, but I don't define myself on the results, as previously mentioned, you know. And yeah, like I said, it's just, again, another stepping stone is... I always like to try and be the hardest worker in the room, whether it's me teaching the guys or my uh, the black belt I'm under Antanas, whether it's him coming in and me still being, like I said, again, being the student, trying to focus on things, forever improving. Yeah, yeah it's just yeah, it's just trying to make the most of the time, you know, make, make the most of the time we've got in. Like I said, it's just, I've been around, like I said, I like to think I've been around for a while and I can compete in. And yeah, people know who I am. Like I said, it's, it's one of them, you know, it's, you either go hard or go home. And like I said, I'm not going to sit here and, like I said, sing, write you a poem or whatnot, but I like to try and give everything a hundred percent of the time. Yeah, you know, whatever. And like I said, regardless of what goes on outside the gym, family life is. I've got, like I said, family behind me, my wife and kids. Yeah, they, they support me. You know, you know what I mean. So it's yeah, they always put up with it. But I know, like I said, once that shot comes that I've been chasing, and I will continue to chase. I think that will be, I actually put it. Nearly, nearly the final chapter, if you like, because like I said, I'm pushing up into Masters one now. Still, want obviously compete within the Masters and even go back into the adults and compete with the adults. But yeah. like I said, after that big shot I'm after, I've been working for, I think it'd be a case of step back there and then for like a hundred percent focus on my yeah. team. Yeah. And I you know, hopefully one day get my my guys achieving bigger and better things than I did. In all fairness, so that's the thing. I mean, that's what I said at the beginning. Whenever you people go into a comp, as soon as they see Ryan Graham. Across from them, or in the same division, or do you know the I mean? same categories and stuff like that? It must be absolutely horrible because I, they know what's coming. They know exactly I, yeah, what's coming. I've had, like I said, I signed up to a few tournaments this this year alone, and and all fairness, I've had, like I said, I've signed up to try and get in the busiest division as weight wise as possible. Yeah. And in all fairness, like I said, gone back again to maybe look at going up a weight again, or maybe even cutting to get more more matches. And yeah, like I said, divisions have been getting a bit bit smaller. Again, I don't know if it's because it's brain belt level or whatnot, or like I said, masters or adults. I yeah, like I said, you hit the nail on the head. I I come with one goal in mind, same as everybody else, you know. And it's just a case of like I said, best foot forward. And yeah, like I said, when I'm in there, it's yeah, they know it's not going to be easy. Oh, I like to think they don't. In all fairness, hence not being funny. I'm the sort of person, as you know, off I'll have a go with anybody. I'll dance with anybody. Yeah. You know what I mean? Bouts, names, don't bother me. It's just, at the end of the day, if you're better within that, that time limit, then I'll shake your hand. Happy days if you're not. But well, happy days, I, I get the win and off I go, like, you know? But, yeah, I, I, like to, I like to think every division I go into is, it puts them on edge, if you like. 
you know. It's, yeah. That's what I like to think, and that's the mindset I go in with it. And yeah, it's just, you know, it's going there, uh, kill, be killed, if you like, you know. Like saying in a bit, a bit too stereotypical, if you like. So, yeah. Listen, they know it's going to be a tough day when you, as soon as they see you coming in, it's like, because there's quite a few people, you know yourself, I mean, you've probably walked in and thought, maybe a person that's in your division and thought, shit, I'm up against this guy, right? And as it must be the same for other people walking in and be like, ah, fuck, it's going to be a tough yeah. day. I, I definitely, mate, again, signed up to a few divisions and I think, shit, do I really want to do this? Just because, you know, you, you get you get your, your average competitors and whatnot, and then you get the, the elite or the well-known people on. Right. Yeah. Like I said, Jordan Kirk, I know he's he's been on the wrong end of a few high level names. Yeah. And again, he's doing exactly the same working his way back into it and whatnot. And again, like I said, as soon as Grapple Wars offered me Jordan, I like I said jump jumped at it because again, it's somebody that would with that sort of profile, not would it would get me excited. I wouldn't yeah. necessarily be on edge thinking, oh shit, here we go. It's sort of thing, it's it would get me excited and yeah. bring the best out. But yeah, it's yeah, it's, again like I said, I don't want to be too stereotypical. You know, I said I know people this, that, and the other, but I like to think is I'm a bit, I'm a bit different than everybody else. You know, I like to be different. Yeah, yeah I like to the division sit up, take notice, because in all fairness, like I said I, I, I can cover full weight divisions. I'm happy with that and whatnot. And at the moment, I feel physically the best of what I am at the moment, and hopefully, I can prove that in the next couple of weeks going to the English Open Nogi Pro qualifiers. You know, and like I said, hopefully, get that spot, win that, get that spot against the pros in there and like I said you never know coming up against some of the guys that have signed up for that and yeah. the guys in those pro divisions on that Saturday it's again there's like I said some really good level names in there that I wouldn't even, wouldn't have even dreamt about competing against but at yeah. the same time it's without that without competing against that, how, how are we, we going to get better and I mean, even if I was to I, should, I know I shouldn't say it but survive against them anything less anything more than that would be a bonus just purely because they can train full time, and yeah. do you know what I mean? Yeah. They two, three times a day look after themselves, keep themselves in the best shape possible. Right, nothing have to worry about. Like I said, whereas I got wife and kids, a full time job, plus the gym now, the team now. So it's do you know what I mean? Making the most of what I can when I can. Yeah. But right. yeah, it's yeah. I just it's more excitement more than anything. Like I said, plans yeah. for the rest of the year. Yeah, just excited. I'm not a very patient person, if I'm honest with you. <laughs> and <laughs> just, just want to get it, or wish it, or if it come past and get get it going. And yeah, let's let's rock and roll, you know. So, yeah, what about the yeah. team? What about the team? Obviously, uh, obviously, you got the team there. Guerrilla Grapple Academy, as an awesome place. Anybody that's in the area, definitely hit Ryan up for some training. Uh, but tell us about the team. Obviously, anybody coming through that we need to watch out for. Oh, definitely. I've got a couple of guys, like I said, a uh, couple of blue bats and a purple bat, whatnot. And yeah, like I said, if you're passing through the Gloucester area, we're spoiled for choice within the Gloucester area. So we're not the biggest team because we haven't, like I said, we've been going just coming up seven months. We're not the biggest team. But one thing I can assure you of and within reason really promise you is you when you walk back out of the tra- training session here, you will want to come back. There's none of this jujitsu politics shit that goes on, excuse my language. It's just coming in, getting a good sweat on improving the best way you can great like i said the atmosphere in here is i've had a lot of feedback about our atmosphere like i said and it's it's something i've been trying to create and i have have created and uh, the guys are loving it loving it i'm loving it and like i said just feel free to drop the the facebook social pages whether it's instagram facebook we'll have something for you you know all all i'm gonna just shout out shout some of the teammate now well there's only a couple of them in all fairness well, you're a bunch of gays. Hey, 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 hey. That's that's some of the team. You know, that's just that's just it's just uh, this is just like a one-off comp night this week sort of thing. So like I said our black belts come in and like I said, put us through our, put us through our paces if you like. You know, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like I said, come on down. We're we're not going to bite you off. We don't care what gym you come from, what team you represent. Come on in, as long as you're up for having a bit of a laugh whilst training. Oh, like I said, the doors always open to anybody and everybody. You know, yeah. so it's none of this where you'll you, wear what you want. Just don't obviously come in the mankini because he will be turned away. <laughs> but yeah, you know, <laughs> do you know what I mean? But yeah, it's, like I said, just trying to create the atmosphere, you know. Yeah. You know, yourself, yeah. when you go training to de stress, sit there at work, right, let's go train and, let's, and then you walk back out, completely do different, well, different person, different mood, if you like. You're happy. And that's exactly what we're, exactly what we're going, going on in, in here. But at the same time, there's there's no easy roles. I'm, everyone is saying about their own places, their own teams. Don't get me wrong, but there is definitely no easy roles in here. Whether it's with me, all my guys from white all the way to purple, there is no easy roles. You are gonna come in, and yeah, 
you you will have you will have a challenge put in front of you like no show. Yeah, that's what yeah we'll we'll look at it. cheap, cheerful, buzzing, absolute buzzing environment, crack environment. Like I said, there's a big project lined up for later on this year, so keep your eyes peeled for that. Like I said, it's going to go from Gorilla Grappling to Gorilla Grappling 2.0, but in an extreme way, if you like. So, yeah, keep your eyes peeled, because it's, it's going to be good. So, that's all I'm, I can't say no more. I can't say no more on that, but it's, it's going to be something special. I'm not going to lie to you. So. Listen, we'll be looking out for that. You know I'll be looking out for that. I'd say I always love following you, see what you're doing and stuff like that. So, um, so I'll definitely keep my eyes open for that. And again, anybody... As he said, anybody in the area, definitely pop in. As I said, uh, because you will get some great roles. As I said, Ryan's absolute brilliant training partner, really, really good roles, tough. Um, and as I said, if you're looking for some really good roles, as he mentioned, obviously different belt levels, white right through. Um, so there's one of the savages right there. Yeah, that's, uh, that's one of my. I'm not gonna lie. That's one of my, one of my annoying purple belts. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, that's one. That's one of them there. That's one of them there. So uh, no way. But, <laughs> but final thing from you then, Ryan. So again, you've been in the game for a while. Obviously, again, you've had and still have some amazing training partners. Um, but anybody in particular you want to shout out? Friends, family members, uh, teammates, anything yeah. like that. I just just want to obviously my wife and two kids. Again, with obviously, as every man, do you know what I mean? Every, every man, you can't do it without them behind you. They are number one, always will be. I said, without them, I couldn't do what I'm doing. Like I said, with yeah. the team, competition wise, the training partners I've got, again, you've just seen one of them there. Obviously, our black belt antennas that I've been, I've been under since day one. Yeah, just like I said, and everybody I train with or have trained with, you know who you are. Like I said, massive, massive respect to you all. And hopefully, fingers crossed, hopefully, see you on Polaris very soon. Hopefully yeah, sooner rather than later, if I'm totally honest with you. So, Definitely. yeah. Again, thank you for having me on, and it's a pleasure as always. That's not always a pleasure. Just a quick comment coming in before we go. Alfie Graham, just saying respect. Ryan, a man after his own heart. So, um, thank you. So, yeah, big shout out Cheers, to Alfie, Alfie Graham there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, so, guys, there we go then. Ryan Graham, I'd say, going to be big things. I'd say, watch out for this. Gorilla Grappling Academy 2.0. Uh, mm. coming later in the year, so keep an eye out for that. Um, and anybody sees Ryan, whether you see him at competitions or anything like that, definitely go up and say hello. I'd say definitely a friendly, friendly guy. Oh, I uh, don't like Depending on depending on uh, if he's if he's eaten before a weigh in or something like that, don't go before a weigh in, right? Go <laughs> after he's weighed down and he's uh, he's fine. So, but yeah, don't talk to him when he's hungry. Definitely, oh, don't talk definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> love it, love it, love it. Well, listen, absolute pleasure, Ryan. Appreciate the time, and you no, enjoy the rest mate. of your night, buddy. And you, mate. Take care, Stu. Cheers, mate. Take it easy, buddy. Bye, bye.